Now we're going to be talking about another Surface tool called Revolve. Now this is a pretty nifty tool that will actually let you come up with a surface extremely quickly from almost nothing. What it's going to do in principle is take a curve that you've drawn and simply swing it around in a 360 degree fashion to create a three-dimensional shape. So here's my curve. And if you could picture this curve just kind of looping around like that and creating shape as it goes, that's what's going to happen. So we'll select our curve, surface, revolve, start of revolve axis. And for this I'm going to turn on snap to control my pointer a little better so I snap to my grid. I'll start there. We want to start above the top of your curve and go down to just beneath the bottom. Here we can have exact or deformable. I'll leave it on exact. Starting angle, 0 to 360. Unless you want a big gap in your shape, we'll actually leave these alone. I can also check or uncheck deleting the original curve. I'll leave that unchecked because we're going to use the curve again. Press OK. And there it is. So we have a very simple, almost candle holders type shape as you can see, extremely easy to make with the Revolve tool. Now I'm going to undo that. Surface, Revolve once again. I'll choose my axis. Now this time, let's make it deformable. And we'll say 25 control points and see what it looks like. There, as you can see by the wireframe mesh, it's a lot more complicated. If I select my object, turn on my control points, you can see I've got a lot of point editing that I could do here to change the shape of this thing. For example, if we just wanted to make the base larger, I could right click here on my scale tool to scale in two dimensions, put it in the center, and there I've increased the size of my base. So let's turn off. Now, interesting to note, the fact that this revolves actually allows you to do some pretty neat things. Like if I wanted to create a vase that actually had an inside to the vase, I could come up here, and then I could start to come back down, like this. I could stop about there. Now if I go to Surface, Revolve, I'll turn on my Snap again. It doesn't matter which end you start from here. There to there, I'll say Exact, OK. And here we've created our shape. Now the shape also has an inside to it, as you can see, because I drew that when I created my curve. It also has a hole two holes in fact, in the bottom. I can select it and go to my solid menu, cap planar holes, and that will actually cover up those holes for us, as you can see there. So the revolve tool is one of the neatest ways to create a surface extremely quickly when you need an object like a table leg or something that's going to be similar all the way around.